Hey y'all, we're Jimmy and Lisa with Find Us Camping. Today, on this episode of Tuesday Talks, for our beers, we're gonna talk about parking your rig. So typically when we get to the campsite, Jimmy's the one driving and backing in, and I'm the one that gets to say, this is where we need to be in our site. Even in the rain. Yeah, even in the rain. <laughs> Um, the, the trick becomes, of course, most of the time you want to get as close to the power pedestal and business side of your um, lot as you can so that you have as much free space on the side that we're on right now to set up your picnic table and your chairs and, and whatnot and give yourself the most space. The enjoyable side. The trick becomes how close can you get to that power pedestal or how close can you get to that tree without being too close and not being able to open your slide because let's face it, nobody wants to back in. Unhook, Run the slide out and then have to rehook, pull up, back up and get in your space. We've been there before, that's why we know this. So my initial thought years ago was, I'm just gonna tape measure and I'll measure how far the widest slide sticks out. And that's great until you- Then we're backing in in the rain and she says, I where's forgot the, the tape, tape measure? measure or I think it's in the camper and then I have to get out and open and get in and get the tape measure and that's, so that was a no-go. Um, I've also heard of people that use a broom and they mark on the broomstick the different slides and how far out they stick, which again is a great thing, except I don't keep a broom in the truck. And so then we do have one in the camper, this one. We gotta open uh, our door, put down our steps, reach in, just grab to get it, the just broom to do out. it. And so that doesn't seem like a great plan either, but it didn't take me long. Didn't take many trips standing in the rain, fumbling for the tape measure to realize that there's a better way. So today we're gonna to share with you the way we do it now that is kind of like a no brainer. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner, but it did take me a couple of trips. Um, but I'm gonna share it with you. And if you don't know, then you can do it that way and save yourself some time and energy and hassle. So we're gonna take you over to the Fusion now and she's gonna show you how she does it without any of these things. None of this. Every, the only thing that she uses is what she carries every day. So stick around. So you might have your tape measure with you. Maybe you even have your broom, but maybe not. So what's the one thing that you always have with you, no matter where you go? It's you. So figure out how to measure your slides with you. For example, this is the biggest slide on our business side of our camper. It's the longest and it comes out the furthest. So I just need to figure out how with my body, I can determine how big this slide is. So this one, if I put my hand flat on the wall, the slide does not stick out as far as my arm. So what that means is when we pull in and the slide is in, if I stand with my hand flat against the side of the camper, as long as it doesn't touch my arm, we're golden. Okay, so then this is the fun side, the entry side, this is the only slide on this side um, and it doesn't stick out that far so again if I put my hand flat it's about as long as my arm um, typically we don't really run into issues with things being on the side because this is typically the side that's wide open um, but there have been instances where there's a tree or maybe it comes with a grill that's secured into the ground you can't move it so those types of instances I, I know that this is about as long as my arm and we're safe. My steps do stick out a little further than the slide. So that's a whole nother thing. Haven't come up with a good way to measure the awning yet though. So if anybody has any suggestions for that, cause the awning sticks out, I mean, farther than I am tall. So I, I don't really have a way to measure that. Um, but at the end of the day, I can park. If I can't use my awning, it's okay. If I can't use my slide, that's gonna be a problem. So if you're new to RVing or maybe you've been doing it for years and there's just something you're doing that you're thinking there's got to be an easier way, comment below and let us know. If we know, we'll make a video and share it with you. If not, we'll ask around and see if we can't find a solution for you. If you're new to our channel, we'd really appreciate if you click on that subscribe button. If you're liking these videos, please give us that thumbs up. We do appreciate them. And don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss the next Tuesday Talks for our viewers. And until the next time you find us camping, safe travels, y'all. No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you?